Oh yes, 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 oh yes. Oh my god, I've missed this game. Okay, cool. Okay. You gotta be kidding me with this shit, really? Hey, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. You are a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. Damn, I actually wanted that drink. So what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus. Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... Lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. Hurry up. No. I think this thing is alive and hungry. No, I will look at everything. You cannot stop me. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. What if I took a picture of not this? A... <laughs> Rewind hasn't worked in years. But still, old habits die hard. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here, or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Hot dogs are two dollars? Onion rings were a dollar seventy-five. Where is this place? No thanks, I value my ankles. You could easily make it through there. Behold, oh wait, hold up. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. <laughs> oh. 
Wow. Ballet service, too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap. Ooh. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh. Not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? Got a dark room all nighter, a dark room, dark room. Killed to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. My immediate future. That Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? Huh? Is this about the blue haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait. You snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? Wait. Oh, it's making you pick between the two realities. She... died. My senior year. Oh, shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You... want to talk about something else? God, yes. Oh, look at that food! Hold up! Yo! How's the burger? So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Is this a date thing, or is this a friend thing? I was kind of... Definitely... I wonder if any of these are actually of consequences. Thing? You're really fucking adorable. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad speaking. Be right back. Moses was right. This is awesome.
missed. Max! The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. I caused this! I caused all of this! Okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! Okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Wasn't Moses like right behind us? Shit! Sophie, hang on! Sophie! Sophie? Hey. You okay? Investigating Safi's death. Safi's murder. You know what? I'm gonna call it. It's probably the cop. Hmm. Grief dinner. It's always the it's one doing the investigating. Though, it feels. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home. I always say. She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Okay, let me go ahead and look at everything though real quick. Oh, you're gonna let me go wherever? Okay. No turtle for me. It'll look bad if Yasmin finds out I'm putting her off. I'm not even trying to do that, Max. I'm just trying to explore. I shouldn't keep Yasmin waiting too long. No, I don't care. She's going to be waiting all day. 
This piece must weigh a ton, but it's barely touching the ground. I want to go ice skating. Oh, it's not going to let you write whatever you want. I would have wrote, written something really funny. Oh, I got distracted. Right, 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 right. I'm supposed to talk to her. Thanks for nothing, Callahan Campus Security. Wow. Is this a student literary mag or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. You're telling me a spoon's gonna pick the lock? Hold on now. You might feel a slight... Pinch. Holy shit! Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. Dang, hot chocolate sounds good right now, too. They're gonna keep talking about food. I need me some food. Maxine. You and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. Dang, picking a photo is tough. But if I was going to be remembered, get one from me at the bar. Where'd Moses go? All the way home? What? Moses is waiting for me in the fab. Ah, the fab, of course. Where's the fab? Fine Arts Building. Why couldn't you just say Fine Arts Building? Who? <laughs> Why'd she abbreviate that? Don't contact me on this phone. And text only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. <laughs> Got her. What a little shit. Yeah, I'll just say I'm investigating. I'm trying to figure out what happened to Sophie, and I wanted your help. Oh, you're a gumshoe now. Detective Caulfield on the case. Give me a fucking break. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. Why? It would solve all the problems. Go back in time, see who shot her. Tear a hole in the universe, start a hurricane. Okay. What, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Started walking around aimlessly again. 
Right, let's just look at everything. Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? I mean, we were literally watching her, or at least I was. I was like two feet away. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more attack. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Ooh, new power time. What is he doing? We really had to watch him send a text. Oh wait. Oh, she's here. What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. Dang, pizza rolls would be hitting right now. gonna freeze to death <laughs> Chloe right hey, I'm sorry that I killed you that Nathan killed her in self-defense what the fuck is happening. Yeah, that's my question. Mac, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? <laughs> oh. This truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Is that Krampus eating a kid? That's, uh... <laughs> nice to see this place interesting. up for Christmas. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. What a legend. I gotta get back to it. Wow! I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked is all. Oh, so... So I asked you out. I mean, that's... How I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Oh shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Safi isn't dead. So, are you gonna tell me what happened? I drank, like, way too much the other night. I've been in kind of a state. For two days? <laughs> Were you kids mixing liquor and paint thinner? I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. 
Just didn't love it. Jesus. Fuck, Zafi. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. It was open. Wait, I opened an open door. Yeah, where did I put that? Hmm? What, I eat it? <laughs> is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? What the... Note to self, avoid this bush. Max. Damn, that's extra suspicious. What are you locking the briefcase for? I just got here. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. Or you could just pull the paper through the briefcase. Like, look at this. It's right there. Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just got escorted out by security. While Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. This is a cool office. Lots of plants. I just got an email from Bostitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe, babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it was for Senators. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. She must have done something crazy, and I really want to know. So Gwen is asking questions about Sophie's death. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. Wait. This is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book cancelled? I thought Gwen helped Safi set this all up in the first place. Why would she... No, this all has to add up. Somehow. That's... a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? Can't say I have. Huh. Yeah, I might have to reposition it then. The standards for the expo really declined over the years. We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I right? gonna get that key? Years <laughs> and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh crap, I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses, um, before his class. <laughs> Good luck with the book expo. Smooth.
It's an excellent cover, isn't it? Guess that explains why his signature was on the thing. What's the deal with the skull? Ah, you haven't read it, I see. The symbolism is clever, but not lofty. Right. They've got the original skull up in the snapping turtle, you know. Had my book launch party there. Oh, yeah? You can have that copy if you want. It's already signed. This game is trying so hard to get me to suspect all these people. But I'm not going to. I know it's the cop. Oh, it's just open. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, it, I have to find that key. It's open, Max. What are you talking about? Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Oh my goodness! Who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. I take it you've delivered your... something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Let me just All open right, your secret shit right in front of you. Let's see if you're the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night. Not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Sophie's car. Sophie? Well, that's crazy. Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it... It, it makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention. No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean, where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Wait. 
Why would Robbie trust Safi? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first, without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? No, we're gonna delete it, because I already know it's the cop. Okay, I deleted it. This is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. What can I do you for? Are you... pouring whiskey into your coffee? Yes. You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? A little damp. Occasionally torrential. What did you do when you weren't drinking on the train tracks? Took pictures, mostly. And? <laughs> I swear, I'm not that interested. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. aren't in this world, but I might be able to hear them from this side. Oh, I'm so dumb. You know, if she didn't say that, I would have kept walking around. Holy shit. Holy shit. Someone took Vin's phone? And they think it was diamond. I can use this. If you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. <laughs> I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. But if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. So... Bad news, I'm not sure who took it. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Well, how was that good news? One more data point than you had before. So, about my question. I'm free Tuesday, after seven, and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. Ooh, those are good. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes, but damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Cute, and at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh. No fun. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean... Who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. <laughs> A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. 
Besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. Uh, I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Yeah, I had no idea that this game was going to last this long. Uh, this is nice. I'm enjoying it. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> a Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. I, can you just. I don't know. Um, I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Finn does owe me a favor. I have a question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons? Occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just. They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey. Any more questions, and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> Surely this place has a book on him somewhere. Or we could, you know, open the phone that we have and then Google it, but hey. Pretty sure my vid... Wait, what did it say? Fuck. Uh, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but... I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Hey. Who even were you, Safi? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? <sighs> the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? 
Well, A plus for following directions, then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Simple, bring him some food. That would work on me. If I was a cop and I was guarding something and then somebody brought me some food, I'd just be like, all right, yeah, cool, you're free to go. came out I had this boss a free thinker who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty youtubers yikes and a raging transphobe to boot the brainwashing our kids blah 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 of course I was afraid if I said something said anything he'd Figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up, make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there like a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted. Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me. Dealing to students. Someone who looks like you? Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! Fuck you! To Caledon! To Yasmin! And to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. No, who cares what, what's on the tape? Is it true they canceled Safi's book deal? So... She told you? Word travels. You were her mentor, right? Do you know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Oh. 
Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? That's not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide. Apparently. Yo, and nobody suspects the cops at this point? That's crazy. You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. I have to go. I got your text. I tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. You'll be fine, Moses. I promise. I hope so. But just in case. Yeah? Do you know a good lawyer? Shit, that bad? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought... The last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced, Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Found it. Okay. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. The maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. Uh, rule bender, Max, rule bender. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Why haven't you? You know Safi. She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hits off his camera? Okay, let's do this again. Hold on. Sorry. That's still annoying. Yeah, it is still pretty annoying. Will it distract you if I talk? It should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um... You don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. I had a feeling it was like right here where the stars are. That would make sense. 
Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? Nope. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. Yo, I'm just guessing at this point. I don't remember how it was. Did I get it? I think I got it. Yo, I just guessed. That's crazy. <laughs> moved it around until it worked. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. I mean, I totally did that on purpose and I'm a genius. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. Honestly, I don't think he would have found that. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Yeah, let's grab the most annoying thing ever. Alright, where is he? Oh, there he is. Alright, we're going upstairs then. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey, is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Okay, can I get out of here though before he sees me? Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo... What? Miss Caulfield... Can I speak with you for a minute? 
You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Wait, does agreeing mean I'm going to tell him? Or am I just going to take the card? What if I just take the card and don't tell him? Because refusing makes me look guilty. Can't I just agree and not say anything? I don't understand. Sure. Of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well. Why would you have a dark room after the shit that you went through? Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. I didn't have the option not to cooperate, Moses. Not really. I had to say something. Yeah, you did. And chose to say yes. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. Mm, it was e this? Evil Max. You killed her? What? No! Of course not! So that... that... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You were covering for yourself! No. Moses, please. Let me explain. Or try to. Well? There's another timeline. Where Sophie's alive. I've been there, 
And I've seen her. Wait! I can prove it to you! You stay the fuck away from me! I like the idea of Evil Max, though. That's cool. Who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Not really, honestly. If you got like a... If you get like a... One of those construction site any of the construction site vehicles you could lift one of these things pretty high you smash it through anything unless it was like some superhuman person which would also be pretty cool but i doubt it life is strange never really goes that crazy but i would like that that or like a shapeshifter plus there was that photo of him and Sophie canoodling but what does that even mean? Canoodling is a wild. I have to prove that wasn't me. Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? No. I'm eating a donut right now. Honestly, fuck this guy. Hey, what the fuck, man? You can't just barge in here. See? Here I was thinking you agreed to help me out. <coughs> oh, it's so dry. The donut is so dry. <coughs> oh, water. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yes. Beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Just my shit luck, I guess. Oh, hard life, isn't it? Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? Moses and I put it together the day after Safi died, so we didn't have to be alone. That's a cute story. Bullshit! I don't know what you want me to say. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Mm-hmm.
Oh, she's gonna do it. Maybe. Maybe I still could. Oh, no way. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Sophie, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <laughs> Stop stalling, Max. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Tell me why you did it. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers, what are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter, exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. Now to see what Moses is up to on the up- Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but 
There's a photo of you from that night. With a gun. You're saying that could be... a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there. In the past. Sophie mentioned Maya and... Oh, God. The storm. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? Was he in a bush? Didn't... Did we, like, walk past him? <laughs> he just didn't say anything? You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to...
is this? Your hair. I told you. There's always a cost. Started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you... Why she died. Maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. All right, I'm super confused. Can I order a coffee? Disappointing. Nope. Guard your ankles. <laughs> this is actually terrifying. Oh. Meeting tomorrow. Where? What meeting? Is it endorsing meetings in general? I like that idea. This looks dead, dead. There's no coming back from this. This is because we didn't water it in the second episode. That's kind of funny. Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max, hey. To what do I owe the pleasure? Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. Look, I don't know what I'm at liberty to tell you, but I'll do my best. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? Oh. Forgive me for dancing around things. I... I wish I could be straight with you, really. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then, Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one. It's the one I made. Why hide it? It's so weird to me. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? 
I'm part of it. Why? Can I read it? Someone ought to. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Oh, I could have shifted. Yeah, we definitely missed something. Oops. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? No, we're gonna go along with it then. Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you... keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. There is no way he's typing this fast. Um, Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Gununa's schedule. Yasmin asked you to give that statement to me. That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. Nobody expects the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. Do you know what happened? After Maya died, Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give me a job as her assistant. Holy. You had to say about Maya. I don't know, Dinah, maybe because we were fucking friends? We met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and clicked. You said that shit about her? <laughs> Shut up. You wanted a performance and now you're gonna get it. I grew up with not any money, okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, yes, he's promised me a stable, respectable job, health insurance. And I took it. And I cared about Maya. 
and it was a horrible thing to do, and I've regretted it ever since. I don't have to bring that up in the debate. There's never gonna be a debate. I'm dropping out of the race. You're just gonna let me be the head of a brat Like that? It doesn't feel very good in the end. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... Killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Dang, this is a tough choice, honestly. I'm not wasting the favor until the end of the game because this keeps coming up and it's going to be really funny at some point. But these two... We'll do this one. You and Safi had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. I saw a photo on your phone. Remind me not to underestimate you. Alright. So was the cow skull you or not? Yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is, are you digging up old history? Be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. How do you get the skull through the windshield? Holy shit, he actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? Dang, how did he- wait, he actually got the restraining one? Did I make the right choice? It's a temporary one. I bought myself two <laughs> weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Sophie's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. I hope... Whatever is going on between you and Safi can be fixed. Hopefully, without that. I'm afraid that ship has sailed. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? What happened to Maya was a tragedy. A tragedy I really don't like to talk about. So I'm afraid You'll have to wet your curiosity somewhere else. Oh, he's guilty. Wait, what was I supposed to do? Find information about Maya. Um... Was I supposed to do that in the living world? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I... This isn't cooperative. Try the other one, Max. Oh yeah, I can talk to the other version of it. Alright, I forgot what I was doing again. Oh, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. 
One time was far too many. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Holy shit. Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. What, he stole the book? I have to talk to Sophie. Is something wrong? Oh, you want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Sophie, I What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? Oh, these are, these are both really shitty options. I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> Yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. Dang. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You're cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. But old sport is more my style anyway. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste <laughs> grandma's liquor you know me if it's not cloyingly sweet i can't drink it have you ever tried amaro it's this sweet liqueur it tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week-long bender. Great. Now I'm depressed and scared. How are we feeling now? <sighs> like... <laughs> like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <gasps> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend.
I guess? That's actually a cool idea. Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. <laughs> we pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. Let's thrash, Dr. Brown. Okay, let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. No! <laughs> to be fair, I probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. Hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Oops. Yes, I do. <laughs> I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone Cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. <laughs> it's Before insane. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Um, sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me and I need to know I'm not just projecting. So you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. I'm also very polite, so you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Okay then. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh my god. This just gives me PTSD. All the times I had to do this. I was a bartender once. You want my input? Cut and run. Caledon is shiny. Trust me. It's a torment. Is anybody having a good day? <laughs> Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? <laughs> Rough day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering everyone. I go 
colleagues, Moses, Toffee, Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Safi was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. There's been a lot going on, and it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything, and it ended a while ago, but I guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually. Does the past version of you ever feel like alien like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless you can't even remember being them that sounds like a shitty spot to be in especially right out of undergrad right here I was with the chance to be Salary, health insurance, even fucking 401k. All I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. What? No! I mean... We were talking... And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's... kind of whack? She's probably right. She's cute, but... A little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh, I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going. Explain to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend. And this would be extremely friendly. So, about me, Miss Caulfield, where do I fall on the binary? I want to see both, to be honest, but I'm passing in mine. Don't take this the wrong way, but... No worries. No hard feelings. That's the smasher pass rule. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so... <laughs> Thank you. Night, Max. Good night, then. the hell? This is bad. How do we know they're... How do we know they're not still here? No, 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 no. All my Arcadia based off of Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? Wait, check the dark room. Bro, they're oh, still shit. here. All right, we're going downstairs then. 
Grab the bat, Max. Grab a poster off the wall. Use a doorknob, like, do anything. Take your jacket off. So it was two Maxes. Oh shit, he's right. You're... You're me. I wish I could tell you there's a reasonable explanation for that. Wait! We jump it. Let's do it. Oh, where are you going? Damn, she is booking it. What the hell? I almost got her. She's been living under a bridge. you even come from? Are you from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff. In your dark room? About Lucas? About Vin? About Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about! Wait, what? But you know too. You care too. Don't we want the same thing? Absolutely fucking not. Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. So it is evil, Max. No! Problem solved. <laughs> oh, I get it now. It's the Max that saved Chloe and the Max that let Chloe die. So they became completely different, which is kind of cool. Come on! I think it would have been cooler if she was like an alien, you know? Oh, 
What the fuck was that, Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. What? I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Getting lake water on your sofa. Shit. Right. I should change. Um. Be right back. No, no, no. You're gonna answer all these questions. There's no way. What? Who cares about Just that? Just Hey, weren't you gonna get changed? Weren't you gonna tell me how you can yeah. transform into other people? Yes. Security footage of someone who looks like me. Dealing with students. Hey, sports? You walk past me without saying hello? The shit Robbie says I told him is sick. It makes me sick to think about. So, you're what a shapeshifter. You You've have powers? got powers? Oh. Here. Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. Clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. How exactly do you? Shape shift. It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it. Awesome. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers? No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... Dang, what a choice. I'm just gonna tell her I killed her. I... killed you. Or I... Will. What the fuck are you talking about?
at some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Did you change into Lucas and oh, yeah, right. I forgot ruin about things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. That's fucked up. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. Crazy. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little... different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was... self-defense. We can forget about this time, but can you not do that again? It's Amanda. Yeah, okay. Fair. <laughs> I remember wishing so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then, I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. You used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? You know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died. Shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom. All alone. All alone except for me. <laughs> the one person who could have helped her. Stuck powerless behind a stall a few feet away. Shit, Max. I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself for... I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean, 
and I had a choice. Save my town or save her. I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> She was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. When Lucas been your revenge tour? My justice tour. What if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? They give you an option to say yes? What the fuck? That's crazy. No. I don't think so. Or maybe... I hope not. To start. <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. Book is you aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And you'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <laughs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. If it was Lucas, then he hired a cop. You can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. Been all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben, who's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. This is the second time this has happened. Like, all you have to do is put this on the internet. Hey! Why are we doing things the hard way? Safi has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. 
You know, when I first took this gig, I was always trying so hard to make a difference. And now I know that I can. Not here, anyway. If I've got any fight left, I'm not spending it on this place. I hope you two get him, but I didn't sign up to confront anybody tonight. Hey, I... I totally get that. I'll still miss you. I can't picture this place without you. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Helping us pull a prank on someone. We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I... I would, um... I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh... <clears throat> Just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. Caledon must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Nobody texts this fast. That's crazy. Reggie's officially distracted. Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. You mean there are more controls? You feel kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to me. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Oh, what is happening, oh god? Wouldn't they blame Mo- wait, wouldn't- Hold on. Isn't he gonna get blamed for it? Because he's the only one who's actually tampering with it afterwards. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <sighs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. We need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. We'll see. All right. I trust you. It's weird. It kind of feels like this game is going to end soon, which uh, sucks. Energy drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? Uh, I remember those days. I still feel like this is gonna fuck up his entire life. Like, we can't tell him to move. Like, go over there. Go sit by the fire. We're ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. What's she doing? Is that Sophie? Yep. <laughs> That's definitely Sophie. Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's very kind of you, Max. And very true. There's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You 
On your big name? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Why not put it on the internet? On any of his socials? On like anything? Shit. It's not him. It's not him. R.C. Roberto Colmenero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great okay, good. job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Hey, what the fuck? Also, why are you holding what? it in it front of everybody? Father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me. Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. Here, I'll hold on to it. Happy? How about we put it back in the jacket where we found it? Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanero! Fair warning, he's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beasts Than These. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Woo! What? Maya was a good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. You already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. You don't know what you're talking about? Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine, who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful, 
Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. I knew this would fucking happen. What are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sorry, wait. This is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not house, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? You're gonna make me choose. Uh, well, yeah, why would- wait, hang on, why would she go as Vin? He just walked off. That doesn't make sense. You can do this. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie, too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it... It wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take... Uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. You were right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. I just know I'm gonna beat this entire game. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna know that I missed out on so many tiny secrets. Cause I was impatient and I just wanted to leave. Wait, where's Sophie? Where's Sophie? Sophie wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? What's wrong? My head, it's... It was my book! I can't, I can't... I can't! Believe you! Believe I can't you. do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, to me. me. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 What is she doing? This is crazy. Hold on, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Sophie, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Safi, listen to me. Something's happening to your powers. You're losing control. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. 
It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I- <laughs> One day you will understand. Shut up! I've done everything for you. Shut up! If we rush her, we shoot her, probably. If we talk her down, her mom probably gets shot. We're just talking. Sophie, show your mom you never needed her help. This isn't you, Sophie. It was me. This gun was the only choice I've ever really had. What's happening to you? Ah! Oh, oh my god! Oh. What the fuck was that? It... It worked? I made it back to the night off. But before... The storm's here too now. Maybe it's everywhere. And if I'm here, then... Sophie. The Overlook. Fancy seeing you here. Which Sophie are you? Am I even Sophie? After all of that? This is too much. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I hurt so many people. Help me fix it. So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi, that's poetry and bullshit? Yeah, I know. You're so important to me, Safi. Not me, pull the trigger. God, I'm over it. Ball. I will pull the trigger right now. You just give me the option. Impossible choice. 
between two shitty futures. Come on. dead what i'm trying not to get angry honestly because there i have so many questions that i know are not about to be answered you're not making any sense are you trying to tell me something just trying to capture the perfect photo the perfect photo the perfect photo Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I... Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Strange. This feels... But that... That's just Safi. Wait, what if I try it again, but double expose the photo? <coughs> Max, thank you. I, I... What happened? I don't know. It was like Safi had locked me in a kind of, I don't know, a sarcophagus. What's going on, Chloe? Okay. Or closest. This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. What you get that? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I want to get this Orden. It's so annoying. It, it can't be. Anything but that. I can't. I can't. I was 18 when Jefferson trapped me in that chair. I'm not 18 anymore. Once is all you get. We gaze at each other in the windowless box. It is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. Max. It's 
That's really you. In the flesh. I thought I was dreaming. Sophie was there. What the shit is this place? She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Sophies in two universes, and neither of them cared if I live or die. <laughs> you know, I. I was in love with her. Or I thought I was. Like, the game's beautiful, don't get me wrong. The game is beautiful, Max is awesome. A lot of the characters are awesome, but... For the love of God, the story is just fucking ridiculous. This double exposure thing to save people is pretty cool. Name of the game, I get it. Awesome. <sighs> Max! Oh! Thank you! I... I tell you, you were... They were all... Sophie. They called me a fraud! A coward! It's okay. I got you. Amanda, you and Gwen stay here and take shelter. Wait! What are you gonna do? Sophie's out there. Somewhere close. I feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? I always forget you're so huggy. Oof. So, any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I don't think so. Everyone I've encountered seems lucid. And the timelines seem to be combining. Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Did they walk here or did they teleport here? Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. What else can you do? Teleport, apparently. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. They'll forgive you. Will they forgive me? Maybe I don't forgive them. Maya is endless dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom. I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be a clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After the wallet girl died, what did you do? I ran away. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of wash-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're Fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do? Gods can do that stuff. Or monsters. Sophie. I'm not scared anymore. All that stuff about curses and destiny and breaking the world it's not real you're real 
You're what matters to me. Just stay. And we can work it all out. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Safi, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic Max bullshit. I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? Safi. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. We should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. Probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> See you on the other side. Sophia. Oh my god. Yes, mean. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you... Oh, Safi, help me! Clean break. Remember? Maxine. Oh, Don't let her go. Uh, it's okay. She's your mother. Oh, yeah? Now I'm my mother. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! You can make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? Nah, fuck you. I'm not your magical toy you can wind up to fix all your problems. You saw how bad things can go. You're right. Got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Safi. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. Yes, I we're going to build the Avengers. Thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now, it works however... I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? I don't know, are you gonna shoot more people? Like, she's clearly evil. I do like toxic people though, you know? Plus, can I just like save her mom and then she can come back and then we can have the Avengers? 
This game did not go where I thought it was going to go. What happened to the fucking detective? He just grabbed himself and floated out of reality. And I to check on how everyone is doing. If the game ends and it just doesn't explain that, that's crazy. So you're super max. Guess your secret identity is gone. Huh. I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or do I finally get to know you now? These two are the best thing to come out of this game. You know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. I don't know if I can answer that right now. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. I like you. I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. Good idea. What if Safi really does come back? She did some terrible things, Max. Yeah, she shot her mom for no reason. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. Yeah, because we're going to form the Avengers. I'm not giving up on Safi. You shouldn't either. Jeez, Max, nobody's writing her off. But I hate being scared of my best friend. And I'll try to get it right To have you on my side I feel fine some days I just want to get it I think it's time I explained a few things. I know that I won't have to try sometimes. Sometimes. It won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. Suddenly but you don't walk away like the rest do And suddenly I have so much more I can it's tell It's the truth What's and coming next to is going to be difficult For all of us have you on my side. But we're going to get through it together I just want to get it right And I know that I won't have to try This time, sometime. I'm not going anywhere We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice.
What if it was just a nosebleed? Also, fuck her. You know, you know what? What is this? See, I already said some Avengers shit, bro. Oh my god, no fucking way. No fucking way. IGN gave this a 9. A 9. This game is like, I'll be generous because I did like a lot about it. Like the characters mostly. This game is like a 4.8. This shit's worse than 2, and I hate 2. Like, I hate 2 a lot. That's fucking crazy. Bro, $70 for this? $70 for- if I bought a hard copy of this game, I would have gone back to GameStop, and I would have got my fucking money back. They had so many good ideas. So many good ideas. And then they just dropped the ball. I, you know, I mean, I can get why people like it. There's a lot of stuff in here that's decent, but... What the fuck? What the fuck was that?